Envy and admiration are two emotions that are often confused with each other, but they are actually quite different. While admiration is a positive feeling that we have towards someone who possesses qualities that we admire and aspire to have, envy is a negative feeling that arises when we feel lacking in comparison to others. The fine line between envy and admiration can be difficult to navigate, especially in relationships. Whether it's in the workplace, among friends, or even in romantic relationships, envy can quickly turn into resentment and lead to toxic behavior. On the other hand, admiration can inspire us to strive for greatness and bring out the best in ourselves. In this article, we'll explore the difference between envy and admiration and how to cultivate the latter in our relationships. So, let's dive in and learn how to navigate this fine line. Envy is a feeling of dissatisfaction or resentment that arises when we perceive that someone else has something that we lack. It's a negative emotion that can consume us and lead to toxic behavior. Envy often arises when we compare ourselves to others, and we feel that we come up short. It's a natural human emotion, but it can be harmful if we don't learn to manage it. Envy can manifest in different ways, such as feeling resentful towards someone who has achieved success or feeling jealous of someone's possessions or relationships. It can also lead to a sense of competition, where we feel that we need to outdo the other person to feel better about ourselves. The problem with envy is that it's a never-ending cycle, there will always be someone who has more or is better than us, and we'll continue to feel envious if we don't learn to manage it. Envy can have a range of negative effects on our mental health, relationships, and overall well-being. When we're consumed by envy, we're unable to see the good in our own lives and focus solely on what we lack. This can lead to feelings of depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. Envy can also damage our relationships, as it can lead to resentment and a sense of competition. We may find ourselves unable to genuinely celebrate someone else's successes or feel threatened by their achievements. In the workplace, envy can lead to a toxic work environment, where colleagues are pitted against each other and everyone is vying for the top spot. It can also lead to decreased productivity, as we spend more time focusing on what others are doing rather than our own work. Ultimately, envy can be a very destructive emotion, and if left unchecked, it can have serious consequences. It's important to be aware of the signs that envy is taking over in our lives. Some common signs include feeling resentful towards others who have achieved success or feeling like we're constantly in competition with others. We may find ourselves obsessing over what others have and feeling like we'll never measure up. Envy can also lead to negative self-talk where we constantly criticize ourselves and our abilities. In relationships, envy can manifest in different ways, such as feeling jealous of a partner's friends or family members or feeling like we're constantly in competition with our partner. We may also feel like we're not good enough for our partner and that they would be better off with someone else. These feelings can be very damaging to our relationships and can lead to a sense of insecurity and mistrust. Admiration is a positive feeling that we have towards someone who possesses qualities that we admire and aspire to have. It's a genuine appreciation for someone else's accomplishments, skills, or character traits. Admiration can inspire us to strive for greatness and bring out the best in ourselves. When we admire someone, we feel motivated to learn from them and to emulate their positive qualities. Admiration can also lead to positive relationships, as it fosters a sense of respect and admiration for the other person. We may find ourselves wanting to spend more time with the person we admire and to learn from them. 
Admiration can also lead to feelings of gratitude and appreciation for the good things in our own lives. Admiration can have a range of positive effects on our mental health, relationships, and overall well-being. When we admire someone, we feel inspired to learn from them and to develop our own skills and qualities. This can lead to personal growth and a sense of fulfillment in our own lives. In relationships, admiration can lead to a sense of respect and appreciation for the other person. We may find ourselves wanting to support and encourage the other person, rather than feeling threatened by their achievements. Admiration can also lead to positive communication and a sense of collaboration, where both parties feel like they're working towards a common goal. Cultivating admiration in our relationships requires a shift in mindset. Instead of focusing on what others have that we lack, we need to focus on the positive qualities that we admire in others. This means acknowledging our own strengths and weaknesses and recognizing that we have something to offer as well. To cultivate admiration, we can start by identifying the positive qualities in others that we admire. This could be someone's work ethic, their kindness, or their ability to remain calm under pressure. Once we've identified these qualities, we can start to emulate them in our own lives. We can also express our admiration to the other person, which can foster a sense of mutual respect and appreciation. Navigating the fine line between envy and admiration requires a delicate balance. It's important to acknowledge our feelings of envy and to work on managing them, but it's also important to cultivate admiration and to appreciate the positive qualities in others. One way to find balance is to focus on our own goals and aspirations. When we're working towards our own goals, we're less likely to compare ourselves to others and to feel envious of their achievements. We can also practice gratitude, by focusing on the good things in our own lives and expressing appreciation for the people who support us. Another way to find balance is to surround ourselves with positive influences. When we surround ourselves with people who inspire us and encourage us, we're less likely to feel envious of their achievements. We can also seek out mentors or role models who can guide us and help us develop our own skills and qualities. Overcoming envy requires a conscious effort to manage our emotions and to shift our mindset. Some tips and strategies for overcoming envy include Practicing gratitude, focusing on the good things in our own lives and expressing appreciation for the people who support us. Setting goals, working towards our own goals and aspirations, rather than comparing ourselves to others. Surrounding ourselves with positive influences, seeking out people who inspire us and encourage us. Practicing self-care, taking care of our physical and mental well-being, and engaging in activities that bring us joy and fulfillment. Seeking professional help, if envy is causing significant distress or interfering with our daily life, it may be helpful to seek the guidance of a mental health professional. Envy and admiration are two emotions that are often confused with each other, but they are actually quite different. Envy is a negative emotion that arises when we feel lacking in comparison to others, while admiration is a positive feeling that we have towards someone who possesses qualities that we admire and aspire to have. Navigating the fine line between envy and admiration can be difficult, but it's important to cultivate admiration and let go of envy. By focusing on our own goals and aspirations, surrounding ourselves with positive influences, and practicing gratitude and self-care, we can overcome envy and embrace admiration in our relationships.